Hey everybody, it's Ramona, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about uh, some more Bring Back My Bars. This is part four of my reviews. Um, we're going to talk about five of them, but I only have three of the clamshells here. I'm not sure where the other two went. I've looked in my empties basket, they're not there. I've looked in the garbage, they're not there. I don't know if kitties were playing with them and they were under a bed somewhere or under a desk or I don't know where they are, but I don't have them, but we're gonna talk about them anyway. So the first one that we are going to talk about and I do have the clamshell for is Apple Press. And this was a red wax, not sure that that matters, but that's indeed what it was. And the scent notes here are the smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last full roses of summer. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, where's my notes here? Yeah, I did like this a lot. Um, this, to me, definitely was fall. It was not a bright, crisp, juicy apple like Johnny Appleseed. To me, a along with the pears... Hi, hi, big Stella. Hi. Want to be on TV? Okay, just lay down. 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 I know, I know. I love you too. Okay, good girl. Down. Stella. Down. You can do it. Come on. Down. I know you want me to scratch your head, but just lay down, okay? Okay. Sorry. Back to the business at hand. Uh, oh, yeah. So, anyway. So, this to me, the apples and the pears are more deep cooked. They're not fresh, juicy fruit at all. Even the apple is not really a prominent apple scent to me and my nose. It's cooked down like maybe it was applesauce or apple and pear sauce with a hint of something spicy. Um, at first I thought it was cinnamon, but then I thought it was clove. Uh, but be that as it may, I got a deep cooked apple pear sauce is what I got. Now, as far as the full roses of summer, I didn't get any rose in here. I didn't get any floral for that matter. Um, so I did like it. I, I, you know, I'm not a big rose fan, but if it was in the scent description, I would have liked to have smelled some rose in there. Not necessarily full on rose overtaking the other scents, but um, I would have liked a little rose in there. But it, be that as it may, I did like it. I gave it an eight out of 10 for scent appeal and I gave it a seven for throw. It was a very decent medium. I could smell it. Uh, I didn't smell the rose, of course, but I did smell like this cooked down, slightly spicy apple pear sauce, if that makes any sense. So I did like it. Um, now, if you know already, now I- if you uh, watch my channel already, you know that Johnny Appleseed is probably my favorite apple scent of all time, of all the wax companies. I love Johnny Appleseed. So this is not like Johnny Appleseed. Okay, next we have a green tea smoothie. I like this. And uh, scent notes here are energizing green tea and fresh ginger with peach nectarine and cranberry um i liked this uh i didn't love it i gave it a six it to, to me it just kind of all meshed together into one fresh green scent um I didn't get any ginger, and as far as the, the fruit notes go, peach, cranberry, peach, cranberry, and nectarine, I really didn't get anything fruity. I couldn't discern, not, not, not only could I not discern each individual fruit, I really didn't smell anything fruity at all. I got maybe a hint of ginger, but basically green tea and just a greenness, a freshness. It reminded me of sea salt and avocado. It, that's exactly what it reminded me of. Just a kind of fresh note. 
Um, this will be something I might put in after, you know, cooking fish or having, you know, some odors in your home or whatever. This is, would be one I would go to just like sea salt and avocado in that same vein of being fresh. So, um, I liked it. I, as I said, I gave it a six. Throw was eight. It was pretty decently strong. I had no problem smelling it whatsoever. Uh, but I, I didn't get all the notes that were in there. So I think that's just my nose. Flirtatious is the next one. And flirtatious was or is fruity and vibrant, a combination of green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. Whew! This unfortunately got a three out of ten for scent appeal for me. Um, and of course it was an eight out of ten for throw. I found this very, very strong. Um almost perfumey, a little bit floral although there's no floral in the notes um maybe it's the white amber that i'm smelling that made it a little perfumey but this was in a very short amount of time it was not often can i say that wax gives me a headache or gives me some you know physical illness or whatever uh way back a long time ago a wax vendor had a scent that smelled exactly like copper tone sunscreen and it was like 10 out of 10 for strength and wow that thing I, almost made me nauseous and i can't say about that uh, that about too many things this was not quite that bad but it did not give me a good feeling um so this was an, a, a thumbs a thumbs down for me i don't know why i gave it a three because i took it out really fast i guess i just don't like to get really low numbers Maybe I gave it a three just based on the throw was so good. I'll give you give you a couple of points for that. But I really didn't care for it. And I again, I can't really explain it. I didn't smell grapefruit, which I love. Green apple or white amber. It was just a bit mishmash that made it kind of um, slightly floral and perfumey. And I did not care for that at all. So sorry about that. Okay. Now, I am missing Spiced Berries Clamshell, and goodness knows where it is. I don't know. Uh, but uh, Spiced Berries notes are... Da, 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 frankincense and myrrh waft beneath decadent berries to create a timeless scent. Now, I liked this. I gave it a 7 out of 10. I, I can't say that I could de determine what frankincense is or what myrrh says if you were to put in front of me. I don't know. I'm kind of guessing it's kind of like, I, when I think of it, I think of incense. And I could be wrong about that. I don't know. I think of incense. So if I'm thinking of incense when I think about this and I think and the berries, I the berries were there but not in a fresh juicy way they were more subtle more deep um like i'm thinking maybe there were cranberries or maybe pomegranate or maybe currants something like that not fresh raspberries or strawberries they were more deeper darker berries um along with what i interpreted to be kind of like an incense scent um and i can't really describe that i'm so sorry but I guess if you know, if you smell incense and remember back in the day, maybe I'm think this is why I'm thinking of incense. When I think of frankincense and myrrh back in the day in the eighties, we had these little bronze, were they bronze or copper little pots. And then you would have this little cone, incense cone. I don't even know if they make these things anymore. That's how old I am. But back, way back, they had, you had a little bronze pot and you put the little cone of incense and you would light it. And, and that's, that's what I think of when I see frankincense and myrrh. And maybe it's because that brand, you remember it came in a gold box. I think frankincense and myrrh were some of the scents in those incense cones. I could be way off base here. But anyhow, so that's what I was thinking of when that's what brought to mind when I was melting this and reading the notes and smelling it. I was thinking I could smell almost incense with some dark berry notes, I'm going to say. So anyway, having said all that, 
I gave it a 7% appeal. I did like it. And I gave it an 8 for throw. It was very decently, I mean, it was strong. It was good. I mean, there was no problem smelling it. It was, it was good. And then finally, the other one I'm missing is Rum Raisin Cookie. And again, I'm so sorry. I have no idea where they are. I'm sure I will find them, you know, in six months time. But anyhow, uh, Rum Raisin Cookie, where is it on my sheet? Rum Raisin Cookie. Uh, this is... Um, Freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove will transport you to the corner bakery. I really enjoyed this one. I gave it an 8 out of 10. It was um, very warm, cozy bakery, just like fresh baked cookies. And you could definitely get the clove in there. And that's why I liked it because... The clove, when it is in things, I like them because it's different than getting, you know, the same old thing, which is cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. So I really liked it. Uh, the rum, I can't really say that I picked out the rum or the raisin, but I definitely got cookie dough and clove, and I really liked it. I love bakery scents, so if you love bakery scents, I think you'll love rum, raisin, cookie as well. Um, again, I gave it an eight and the throw was also very decent as well. I gave it seven to eight somewhere, you know, mid, you know, strong, medium to strong in there somewhere. It was very present. I had no trouble smelling it at all. And I really did like that one. Um, okay. So that's it for now. Um, and then probably in the next couple of days, I'll be finished with the bring back my bars. And then I'm going to be pulling a melting box, which I haven't done for so, so, so long. So that's it. So uh, just a reminder, bring back my bar voting is open and you can vote five once a day for five cents. And those uh, be, will be released in 2023. And also just a reminder, obviously these current bring back my bars are available now for the month. And uh, don't forget to put them in your club, open a club and stock up because once they're gone, you can't get them back until they come back again, either in a flash sale or another Bring My Bar or whenever they decide to release them again. So that's it. I hope everybody's having a fantastic weekend. I will see you soon. Bye.